As we work with caring educators and passionate administrators around the world, what we're hearing is, Mike, we're scared. See, we want to do the right thing. We want to address sexual assault. So I ask you as an audience, is Aaron worth intervening for, yes or no? Yes. Why? Raise your hand and give me reasons you believe Aaron is worth intervening for, yes. Uh, because it's a human being. How many agree that's the only reason I need that every human being deserves to be treated with a basic level of dignity and respect? If you agree with that statement, say, yes, I do. Yes, I do. That's what is key. Bringing in a program that makes your life as an administrator, your life as an educator easier because all your students have the skills they need to make a difference and they believe deeply in wanting to do the right thing. You've got a drunk person who's not of sound mind, they're vulnerable. You've got a person who knows what they're doing. We actually have a term for this, it's called taking advantage. advantage. And today was such a wonderful day. And I believe that many young people my age should learn how to respect their partners and everybody around them. You didn't misread them because there was no opportunity to misread. You didn't give them a chance to communicate. It was an act of arrogance. I assumed what somebody else wanted and I just did it because I wanted to believe that was true. It was a power move, an arrogant move. And we're taught to do this as a normal thing. For me, this is personal. In 1989, I received a phone call from my mom that the youngest of my older sisters had been raped. It was a very simple and clear thought. I wanted him. Yes. If you think you'd feel the same way, yes I, would. yes, I would. I know I was there. I felt the rage. I felt the anger. I thought I was going to do when I got my hands around his neck. And then I had to take a breath. And over time, I'd have to look in the mirror and ask myself, do I really have a right to want this person dead after they've raped someone I care about. If I didn't do anything to stop someone just like that Friday night right in front of me before they raped someone. The show was very, very great. I enjoyed it. I learned a lot from the show. And that uh, Mike is a very, very good uh, host. He's very, very intelligent and uh, knows his stuff. And I can say that asking first is the best thing to do. What are you actively doing in your schools to completely transform the culture to one being built on respect, to one being built on mutually amazing relationships? The most exciting part is the results. See, when you rebuild a foundation of respect within a school community, you see students thriving in healthy relationships of all kinds. You see students more willing and excited to stand up for each other and support each other on their journey. What's another reason people don't ask? Yes. Yes, fear of rejection. So don't give them a choice. That just messes everything up. By the way, what I just said, does that sound awful? If you agree that sounds awful, just say awful. awful. Think about that. I'm not going to ask you because you might say no, so I'm just going to do it to you. Yeah, as awful as that sounds, this is where it gets a little creepy in reality. As awful as that sounds, 95% of us have been taught to date that way. Question number one, does every human being deserve a choice before you do something with their body sexually or intimately, yes or no? How do you normally give somebody a choice in life? You simply ask a... We all believe in asking first.